All right, thanks for joining me here for this uh, look at these KCI magazines. They are aftermarket magazines made in Korea for your Glock. And uh, we want to see exactly how they measure up against the factory Glock. So, got a scale, I've got a set of calipers. Uh, first thing we're going to do is, you know, uh, look at the magazine itself. And, you know, obviously, you, know, you can touch it and feel it. And it feels quality. I mean, it feels similar to the Glock factory. All right, the only difference is that on the bottom, the Glock factory has the Glock base plate with the Glock logo. And of course, there is no uh, logo on the KCI version. Um, but do they work? Well, we're going to figure that out very shortly. Let's go ahead and just look at the, uh, the dimensions. You know, base plate, uh, I'm going to put the caliper right here on the bottom. And this is 22.82. 22 and here's a factory. Again, right on the bottom. Oops. And 22.83. All right. Uh, up here at the top, I'm going to do the same thing on the factory. Right here at the, uh, the notch that engages the magazine release, 22.67. And now the KCI. 22.66. So, very similar in dimension, uh, very similar in look and feel. Overall, this is not going to be exact because it's not going to sit there and be at the same spot. I'm going to be right, right at the bottom of this magazine, right on the feed lips there. And at about 11870. And the factory on the bottom here. Oops. 118.74. So, very, very small differences, uh, if any. You know, I mean, again, this, I'm just kind of eyeballing these things pretty quick. Uh, just to see, you know, does it stack up? Is it the same measurements? Now, let's go ahead and weigh them uh, quickly if we can. Uh, first, the uh, Glock factory. Uh, this is in grams, 76.49 grams. Now the KCI, 75.49. It's a little bit of difference there, but I don't know if there's anything significant. Barely, uh, not even a gram. Uh, magazine loading. Uh, when you first get these, I notice they are a little bit difficult to load by hand, so you want to maybe uh, use a, a magazine loader. But um, fairly simple. Just feels the same, looks the same. Just got to muscle them in. There's five, and you can go through the whole process. And I don't think we need to do that here. So they seems like it's working the same, feed off the same, feel the same. Uh, for disassembly, procedure is the same. Okay, I'm going to take a punch, put it into the hole in the bottom of the magazine, stand up on top of this thing. Get it off there. Go ahead and push the uh, base plate with my thumb and capture that spring as I do so. And there's the floor plate, the spring, and the follower. And the spring seems to be coated wire. Okay, it's not exposed. Looks like it has some kind of coating on it, which may help it self lubricate itself. That's basically it. Now let's go ahead and take this out to the range and see if it shoots. Well, of course, the real proof in any magazine, any product, is does it shoot flawlessly through your gun? And we're here at the range to uh, determine if this KCI magazine actually lives up to what we've heard about it and, and the way it looks. It looks great. Keeping in mind, again, I've got a fully loaded 17-round 9mm magazine. It does drop free, which is important, locks up positively, feels good, got another one over here, same thing, 17 rounds, locks up, drops free. Alright, let's go ahead and charge it up and shoot. Feels good so far.
Not bad. Try another one. Okay, and one more here. Well, they seem to work to me, and the proof is right there. These KCI magazines do work.